Hey, what's up, worship drummers? So I have something special for you. Something that all of you, well not all, but a lot of you have asked me. Legit, this is probably the most question I get asked when I post a video or meet some of you out on, on either the worship drummer group or just out about today. So let's go check out what that is. Okay, so the question I get asked the most is about that, and that being my snare tone. What we're gonna cover is how to get that tone, and it might be actually different than what you think. I've heard a lot of people, like in the comments section, when I'm, all you're doing is just loosening or lightly finger tightening the, the batter head, the top head, and that is further from the tooth, because let's be fair, you can't do your buzz rolls, can't do any intricate parts, and to me, it, it doesn't achieve what it's supposed to achieve. So here's how I recommend you do it. Number one, we're gonna talk about the snare itself. For the snare, you want some kind of metal. I recommend either brass or copper. Me personally, I'm using a copper phonic Ludwig. I just like the crack and the crispness of a metal snare and the projection of the metal snare. The second thing I would recommend is the depth of the snare you're, you're looking for. I think it's the deeper, deeper the better. Again, I use an eight, eight inch depth. And what that does is it gives it a lot of body, a, got, a lot of gut, a lot of girth. Another thing you'll need is wires. I recommend a 42 strand, strand wire. And what that does is it gives you that splash you're going for, that psh, 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 splash, which is insanely awesome. So let's get to the actual tuning of the head. We're gonna take your snare, turn it over to where your uh, rezo is exposed, and I think this is a little bit of a trick to it. A lot of people don't, I don't think, crank their bottom head enough, but what you're gonna do is legit, you're gonna crank your bottom head almost too uncomfortably. Like, I want you to be in tears that it's gonna pop in, the lug is gonna hit you in your, in your teeth and bust uh, open a little deal right there and make you have a gap which is nothing with a gap because I have a gap, a little bit of a gap. But, what you want to, gosh, I'm, I'm weird. What? Why am I so weird? Anyways, you're gonna make sure that, you're, that, you're, that your matching tone and everything is equal tone, equal intention. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip your drum over to where the batter head, or, or your striking surface is on top. Put on your new head, your finger tight it, and then you're gonna press down again, finger tight again, and then here's my favorite part. After you press down on each rim, you're gonna step on it, stand on it, sit on it, and then you legit just stretch it out. When I do this, people think I'm crazy because they think I'm injuring my drum head. Here's the deal, guys. Your drum is super durable. Probably can't survive a semi or a tornado, probably, but it could definitely survive y'all stepping on it. So have fun, like jump on it, like dance on it, like do whatever that, do the Dougie. Can't do the Dougie, but if I could, I probably would on my drum. After you stretch out the head, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go around again, finger tight all the way around. Then you're gonna press down on each rim, finger tight again, and make sure everything is good. The reason why you press down on the rim and finger tight again, because once everything is tightened up, the head resets. And so you'll find that if you press down on, on the rim by each lug and finger tight again, that there's even more tightening that can be done. After you do that, you're gonna do a quarter turn on each side in a star pattern. Because after you do the quarter turn, you're gonna match to the highest pitch of the drum that you find. After you match the highest pitch, then what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna keep on tuning up until you get your desired tone. So me currently, I used to use like a, a medium, but more recently I've been using higher to medium um, pitch. So that's pretty much it. There's no secret to this this kind of snare tune in or this kind of snare snare sound. Be the mystery. We're gonna undo the veil of mystery. Kind of like Jesus, you know, brought us into you. Communing with him. We're gonna undo the veil. Like no more like burning of birds and sacrificing of goats. Cause yes, I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Too far. Is that too far? Whoo! Y'all need to pray for me. Like um. Yeah. Y'all need to pray for me. My personality is weird. Oh. One thing I forgot to mention is your head choice. I personally use a Power Stroke P4 with the clear dot on it. Those are like hard to find now because I think Remo might have discontinued making them, but I recommend getting the clear dot. If you can't find the P4, then maybe try P3 or P77, all by Remo. Your bottom head, some kind of hazy. I think I'm right now I have the Evans hazy. I'm probably switched to 
the Remo version soon. So anyways, to recap, we're going to crank the bottom, flip it over, match tension, uncomfortably too tight. Flip it over, finger tight, sit on it, jump on it, like legit, mark ABCs, like until you feel it's comfortably stretched. Finger tight again, pressing down on each lug. Quarter turn all the way around, find the highest pitch, match pitch. You're going to tune it up to your desired tone. And literally, that's it. It's super easy. What I want you to do if you can is to post a video either below of you trying it to see what your results are. Let me know how you how it goes. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, like, subscribe, follow Throne underscore sessions on Instagram. Follow JR Azigu or Junior Azigu on um, Instagram, Facebook. If you have any questions, message me. I'm always open. Y'all know that. Hopefully this helped and hopefully I can start hearing your awesome snares. If you don't like the snare tone, it's not for everybody. Again, the snare tone's not for everybody. But if you do love it, give it a shot. If you don't like it, it's just a shot. Okay. So hopefully this helps. Um, one purpose, one passion, my dudes. This is all for the glory of God. And I'm here to, to help you and to aid y'all into becoming better, more worship, um, better worship drummers. And you help me, I help you, that's how it works. Um, love you guys. And let's do this together. All for the glory of God, one purpose, one passion.